Fnatic always ruled Europe, but ever since G2 burst onto the scene, everything changed. Fnatic and G2 has shared all of the trophies other than one. They are the two most successful orcs. G2 Fnatic is just the battle of who will win the split. Ocelot and G2 Esports lost their throne over a year ago. Put your hands together for the Spring Split Finals! Fnatic straight up embarrassed G2 Esports. Oh, Caps! He just solo killed oh, Are you kidding me? That is a kill! And this time, they are back. But Fnatic will do anything in their power to stop them. They're going to go into playoffs thinking that we're going to have to face Fnatic, and the last time we played them, they beat us. Whoever wins is probably going to take the title. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Fnatic versus G2. The crowd is amped. There are a lot of Fnatic fans. The fans at home voted for Fnatic. They expect them to be winning this game, and how can you not? Fnatic, they've had a miraculous comeback in the second half of the split. So once level six has come in, especially for Yankos, I'm gonna look for G2 to make Pelea's bot side, but right now it's Fnatic that want to do the same. Looking for the play, the double knocker comes out. Reckless underneath the tower, perks the first of all. Nemesis gets it. Promised you will follow up shortly after. Now Yankos could come and join the fight, but he's not gonna be able to do it. The tower plates fall in the bottom lane as well, and Fnatic strike first in the match. And Fnatic find themselves with two early kills. Oh yeah, Perks had just also used his teleport to get back to lane relatively shortly before that as well. So there's no chance for him to make up in CS as Wonder. Whippo so what? well, Wonder just takes him out. I mean, Wonder's had his number the entire time, but Whippo couldn't get away. Here comes the Requiem, it's enough. Broxa presses R, gets his second kill of the game. As Broxa here, he has completely leveled up his game. And it's like fighting here. The Deathmark comes out onto him. The Guardian will keep him alive just for the moment. Deathmark still proc, not enough damage. And the Kalei from Reckless straight onto Caps. Caps dodges back. Can he dodge away from his former teammates? Hillisang still has the chase, has the flash. Jump straight in. Oh. Hillisang. Good night, Sweet Prince. You can change teams, but the result is still the same. Caps couldn't go behind the tower. Nemesis actually has a great flank position off here. Perks chased out by Hillisang. Lands the pet fine gaze. Hillisang's gonna be tanking up the tower. A couple of shots comes out. Reckless on his way in though. Perks flashes away. There's my asthma. Reckless can just chase them down. The Requiem will definitely be enough. Goodbye to Perks and Caps now. Dodging around as much as you can, but your fancy feet might not save you for too long. Nemesis jumps in. The ignite takes away. And Fnatic are eight kills to one up. 15 minutes into this game, they are dismantling G2. But Fnatic are playing smart. Oh. And you said they take it slow, but they have a mountain to try and sneak this one away from right underneath G2. 21 minutes in the bounds being started. You can see Wanda still in the sideline, has the teleport to join the fight. Promise Q puts in the wall, 2000 HP left on the bound. Yankos has to flash in here to try oh. and Reckless secures it. He can't out smite the Lucian. They get the kill on Yankos as well. And they're going to follow it up with a little bit more. The Requiem comes out. Caps ignited to his doom. And Fnatic get two. They get the Baron and they get everything they wanted to get to a point where they can rely on their scaling. But again, Fnatic not slowing down. They're sieging on top. They force Perks back. Yankos eats off the culling surfs used as well by Perks. Minion Waves pushing it in the other side. Lanes the Vanguard's edge comes out. Hillisang with a double charm gets the third as well. As they all just try and dive the tower, but Reckless almost goes down. Promise Q there. Caps fighting against Whipple down towards the bottom side. Has to flash away. The death mark will get him. And they get another kill underneath the tower. G2 has somehow turned it around. The Requiem comes out. Is it going to be enough? Caps trying to kill him before oh. he gets out. It's not enough. And Caps will fall. Promise Q will follow shortly after. It's a double for Broxa and still Fnatic are in this fight. They're going for it. They have Perks on the Cassio. He's got to pull the trigger straight away. Hillisang here trying to catch up Perks but can't quite get there. Promise gets a three-man knockup. Wonder and Yankos are focusing down. The Baron, 8,000 HP This is on quick. It. There's a fight up towards the other side though because Wimmer has the teleport. Caps is trying to keep him alive. There's 3,000 HP on the Baron. Fnatic, can they get in? Can Brock to do the steal again? G2 get the Baron. Wimmer forced away as well but here comes the engage from Hillisang. Locked up. He's dead. They get the shot Nemesis down. is here. The Garland goes up. Nemesis is here as well. Promise is going to fall. Brock's hands off. He gets the kill! Here comes the Vanguard's edge! He gets Broken. the stop! Oh, Reckless shot in! Reckless shot in to his eyes! And now Nemesis as well! We're going to tell him all to get the base! The base! Gaz is trying to defend the base! Wonder gets the triple kill! Nemesis onto Yankos! They need to get out! The base! He wants it! He wants it! Nemesis is trying to keep him around! Yankos is so low! The Talibor gets out! Oh. Nemesis is gets taken out as well! The base is still alive! And G2 survive in this game! This is the greatest game ever! G2 defend the base, the Nexus is still alive. Medic, catch your breath. G2, that actually keep this game alive as Fnatic lose four members. The goal doesn't matter. Oh my God.
They want everything to be in as much of their favor as possible before they commit to a fight. Fnatic will shred this Baron so quickly. Oh. Four elemental drakes. G2, they know they have to look for the team fight before the objective goes down. It's getting low. Jankos has to make a move. 6,000 HP left on the bat and the Realm Walk coming out as well. They're just going onto the back. They're looking. Oh, oh my god! god. god. A great flag! G2, the perfect team fight! They take it all! They take down three! They even get the chase down as well! The Elder will be in their eyes as Fnatic just die one by one! G2 absolutely destroyed Fnatic in the bot lane. River Hillisang is doing what he can to run into the base, but Yankos is on the prowl. It's enough! It's oh, not going to do it! Die. He got the edge of Night Shield just in time! Hillisang still trying to take down the inhibitor. Can he get it with these bound up minions? The Elder Dragon, not the target, G2 pushing in mid. Hillisang still there on the inhibitor. Is he actually going to be able to do too much here with the Ignite? He knocks that comes up. He's just looking for the inhib. Forget about the bot lane. Look at the mid lane. There are two members of G2 pushing in right now. The death timers are at 20 seconds. I don't know if G2 can look to end There's the game no right way, now. There's no way, Vettius. There's no way they do this. They were 8,000 gold behind. They had nothing. 15 minutes in, they were getting demolished. But somehow, once again, G2 find a way to turn the game right back on his head. It's the fourth Baron, and now G2, they're going to teleport I think it's the fifth Baron. And this, I think, is the sixth. I don't know. Either it doesn't way. doesn't matter, because it's already been started up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Baron going. The double mountains are the target. That's oh, gone. G2 pushing mid. They have their Baron warping. Their Baron warping in. G2 no. are going the base. The Baron buff, though. They can get the recalls. How many can they stop? G2, you've got to stop them all. You've got to stop them all. They're in the base. G2 are looking for the win. Can they pull it off? The Baron warp. Once again, the red wave comes out. They play through the next hit. Oh, no. Oh, the next towers in the one side, G2. Get the first one, and reckless on the other side. Get in the back door. Oh, oh my God. Let's go. Flip me away. You can do that to them. That is the best single call I think I have ever seen in League of Legends. Fnatic love to do early on tricky plays. They didn't oh, catch this one out. I see this one coming. Broxton now moving down to the bottom side. The CC coming through. North Scare needs to make his way out of there. One more stun to lock him up. Reckless happy to grab first blood. Draven running for his life. It's nightmare scenario for Splice. And a double for the Bay. In this matchup, he can maybe just do a lot more in the 1v1. I feel like there's one more gank left in bottom lane for Roxa. I'll hold it though. Redemption now coming in from that's the Zoe. Zoe as well, and that's going to be able to turn the fight. This turns the 1v1 in the end. Whippo gets it, has the Hex Drinker too, and now Nemesis is the one in trouble. They definitely want to three miss, but no, the Flash is now going to come out. Broxy here for the potential follow-up. Chilling Smite goes down, wants to pull Zersei back, but it's just going to back off in the end. They're ready to go. And yeah, because all Whippo does is lose the Flash. Now they're going oh, for a play. Oh, freeze frame. Oh. You might be wondering how yeah, I got how here. How did we end up here? That's a good question. Multiple times here. I mean, Humanoid keeps staying, thinking, I can press Q one more time, I can get that wave, but then the Vayne and the Brahma run them down. You can see the power of this duo, but now they're going to have to pull up a 2v4 Dracos. TP being committed, Reckless, 1,000 gold bounty. Everyone's got their eyes on it. Who's going to get it in the end? Whippo now caught out. Good start to the fight. Equalizer used, burning through those health bars. Reckless desperate to find something back, but copy does so much damage. Vayne goes down. 1k gold goes to the Thresh in an instant. Hillisang going to follow, but Nemesis now here to fire back. Whippo is going to make it out in the end, but that cash in going to Thresh is catastrophic. 1v4. He was zoning off the entire team from Spice. Oh, Brox on the flank. Good look for that priority pick. Hillisang potentially in trouble. Three-man knockup. Nemesis now on the backside. Reckless caught out. Follow-up is there. Reckless now running for his life, though the vein is just a little bit too strong to go down in the initial burst, but it's a split call. Zersei leaping in under Reckless. Reckless has to flash into safety. Ultimate Zersei slowly but surely ticking down. Oh, just barely not able to get a Brox now flashing forward. The turn is going to come in. The concussive blows are just too clutch in the fight. The split fight is a massive win here for Fnatic, and with the Ocean Drake, they're going to keep sustaining up. They're going to try to take this one down. Zersei is way too low, but he's Stays in it. He has the flash. Can he make the steal happen? And spotted. The ward is there. If he goes around the corner, Kabe is here too. Are they going to be able to go if they're trying to block him? Oh! Immediately deletes him. Eyes on Kabe. Whirling dead. Not enough. The other AD carry will take it in the end. Reckless secures the Baron. Too close for comfort there when it's a Vayne that walks away with the Baron. That said, they did their job. They have the Baron and they have the power. Nemesis goes over the wall. Half health to Chachi immediately. He'll say now going to take the opportunity to start the fight. Goodbye to Norse Scaren. The Thresh immediately deleted. That's a sleep of Lissandra. Nemesis going to fire back. Humanoid is just going to get taken down. Double drop. Goes on the flank. Whipple looking for the back. Ooh, Reckless. 
You can feel it. He wants the pentakill. He knows he has the setup to get it, but they're going to retreat to the fountain and not give him. That's the triple coming in. Maybe he's going to be able to get a quadra. Fnatic have absolutely dominated in this game. A win here will lock them into third, and Splice realizing that fourth place is looking them straight in the face if they can't turn this one around. And there's just nothing that Splice can do right here. It's just Chachi and Kabi with two Nexus turrets standing between Fnatic and the win. One slip up this game in the bot lane, but otherwise incredibly clean play for Fnatic. And right here, right now, they lock themselves in for third place.